Thank you very much. This concludes the, the service. And uh, you can stay and we can work through some of the Chinese or you can or you can socialize. It's totally up to you. We finished it way ahead of schedule. So if you wanted to, to stay, we can do run through the Chinese or we can just chat and whatever you like to do at this point. I just want to give you this first. Oh yeah, I have I have this for you too. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you for the Thank you. This has been a really a wonderful oh. service to prepare. I will not read it. I'll just come. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm so tickled that I could actually provide the baby Buddha for the service. This is the first year, the first time I could afford it. <laughs> it's wonderful. Needs a red name tablet. There's also, uh, I already started a section in my shrine room, so I have that, and that all the names will be moved when we finally get to a place. When I finally get to a place. What is a red name tablet? The red name tablets are blessing tablets. Um, that people have different times they want to have their names up on the wall, but nearby where family. And they can do, they have different kinds of, of things in temples. Sometimes people will, will uh, pay uh, for them to be up for a whole year, like from Chinese New Year to Chinese New Year. Or they pick up, or like they take refuge, in, or they're having difficulty, or they're having a celebration like a new baby. Mm -hmm. It can be for a, a service time period, so that all the merit re is returned to all the people's names that are on their tablets. And that they're, these are living people. Mm -hmm. And it's an Asian custom. It's not just the Chinese that are doing this. Mm -hmm. And many of the Mahayanas, and I think maybe some of the Theravada temples have a different format. But they, some, many, at different points during the, uh, the year, the names will be read out loud, and their families will be there to support so the Lord. So the families or friends will bow for that person, like if they're a special service, like a service or something. So, and like I said, it's done for not only, it's not a protection, but it is for a favorable, um, uh, it's for uh, their wisdom, the person that you're supporting whose name is on there, that they can have enough wisdom, and that, that they know that there's a lot of people supporting them to either recover from poor health, or get over an obstacle, 
for the celebrating new beginning mm -hmm. or new, new life or new job or new home, something like that. Okay. Or raise. So it's done for different reasons. And some people do it just because they really enjoy the idea of having that support. And the Sangha uh, praying for these people, the, the Sangha see it every day. So they're always in somebody's mind. The, the nameless, I see, look at my nameless every day. So they're always, I'm always thinking about them, what individual, what each person wants to accomplish. So if somebody was sick, their mother is sick, and I have their name on, and their name tablet. And so is a long-term illness, so, um, so they need extra, they want to have extra support. So it just, it's just, it can be a monthly, it can be a one-time thing, mm -hmm. it can be a whole year, okay. and it, it's varies. And there's yellow name tablets that are for the deceased, okay. friends and family. And those are uh, usually put next to the, the deeds on who's a city guard, a Buddha, a Bodhisattva, I mean. Okay. And so, um, and those are yellow tablets. Okay. Sometimes they'll accompany a little tiny picture of the person. I just think it's a lady. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Is there any questions anybody has? Because this is a great time. I, this is the translation I've been working on before. So I know there's a couple awkward things, but the, it's hard when, when like, the dedicated offering Phrase, this this phrase uses ignorant long sparrow tongue, which is brand tea. That's a certain kind of tea, long long shen sparrow tongue tea. It's, in Chinese it says mong shen chi su ta. And that means it's a tea that's specially from that mountain, mong shen. So it wouldn't be known to Western people, so I had to put it in quotation marks. Mong means ignorant. Ignorant. And sometimes people try to translate that for Tibet, but it isn't Tibet, it's ignorant. Okay. It's named in your mountain. <laughs> mm. so, um, so it's just different cultural things that you'll probably see in, in here that may, might, might not be familiar with that. And because this service is only done once a year, and most of the Chinese don't really know it. And it's done very, very slowly. Okay. So it's like this first this praise would be done. It has actually different words, but it's in the Chinese on page. The data is page 10. The only thing is coming up. I always forget this phone has this feature. And I get to my playlist. History playlist. Because I've been playing a lot in case you guys decided we were going to have it in Chinese. I played this a lot. I thought, oh, this is really easy and hard at the same time. We'll hear it the second time I found it. Because the rest of the service is all the same verses. Different words. Mm -hmm. 